What if you want to homeschool, but your friends and family are against it? I already have a video on my page on what to do, five things that you can do if you have an unsupportive spouse. So this is not for spouses. This is for friends and family members. Just like I said in the last video, I'm not a therapist, but what I will say is homeschool moms deal with this a lot. So you have family members that are not into homeschooling. They've maybe even expressed their concerns about it and they're just, they're not having it. Maybe these are even your parents, you know, your kids' grandparents. I hate to say this, but each person you kind of need to separate into one of two categories. And I think all human beings fall into one of these two categories. Over here are the people who are really on life's growth plan. They maybe are expressing their concerns about homeschooling because they are scared and they really care about you and the kids and they're worried. You know, there are strong prevailing myths in our society about homeschooling. So the people over here are the people that mean well and love you. Now the people over here are not in that category. <laughs> These people are critical and mean, and honestly, no matter what evidence you would provide them with, they their mind would not be changed. They're just set in their ways, and they're, they're just kind of mean about it. So here's the deal. You're the parent, and you have a right, at least so far, in our society to raise your kids how you want to raise your kids and to make decisions that you feel are best for your kids and your family. So first off, be secure. It's a fantastic idea for you to have a mission statement about why you homeschool. That way you can tell people without batting an eyelash. This is actually so important. We include it as one full lesson in my course on how to homeschool. For the people over here, provide books like this, this, or this, and show them websites like this. You and I know their concerns are based on misunderstanding. So these are the type of people that if those misunderstandings were clarified, they would feel really good and maybe even end up a cheerleader for your homeschool. Have great conversations, invite them over, have them meet your homeschooling family, friends, you know, just really involve them in the homeschooling life so that they can see how wonderful it really can be. Okay, so then for the people over here, it's gonna involve some sort of healthy boundary setting. Now setting healthy boundaries does not mean that you are being mean, though the person might accuse you of being unkind. Boundaries can be great and help you salvage a relationship. What particular boundaries are necessary for certain situations depends on so many factors. I hope this helps.